Hi, hello everyone, Ruby here. And today, the Entrada devs released their LE Access Roadmap for 2024. And there's a bunch of really good stuff there. Um, it's obvious from looking at it that they took player feedback very seriously in regards to adjusting their planned roadmap for early access for this year, which I'm pretty excited to go through with you guys. And so this was released on this on their Discord um, channel um, today. And let's go through it real quick so we can keep this video short, okay? And so it starts by saying, Entrouded Early Access Roadmap 2024. Flameborn, your feedback helps us make Entrouded better. Here's a look at our roadmap for the next few updates based on your suggestions. And there's some really good stuff here. So let's start with it. Uh, the first one here is they'll be um, adding Hollow Halls dungeons, which is good. They'll be adding support for Steam Deck also, which is good for any PC handheld gamer out there. Um, I'm assuming here that if they add support for the Steam Deck, it's also going to affect um, and be a boon for Windows-based handhelds to like the Asus, ROG Ally, or the Lenovo Legion Go. So uh, even the recently released MSI, Claw. So this is, this is good all around for handheld PC gamers. They're also going to add um, work on performance improvements, which is always good in my book. Um, they're working on having smoother, higher FPS gameplay. They're working on location improvements, improved loot UI in regards to looting items uh, from boxes, enemies, stuff like that. Um, they also want to work on improving workshops, crafts from magic chests, wherein, when you're using a, work, uh, a workstation, it's able to access items in your chest already, especially materials and stuff, which is also good. They're also working on better stack splitting options. They're working on adding multiple NPC instances, especially for those who play in shared realms or public realms and stuff like that. Um, that way, um, each person at the base can have the individual NPCs like the blacksmith and stuff like that. Um, they also work on the alchemist and stuff like that. They're also working on reassignable glider shortcut uh, for those who would like to reassign the um, the shortcut for the glider. We can reassign it. That's one of the things they're working on. They're working on the ability to sit on furniture. Yes, this this is good. Um, a lot of people are enjoying the um, base building feature in Enshrouded. But one of the things that people have noticed is that the furniture you put down, especially furniture like chairs, benches, and stuff like that, you cannot sit on it. And so this would be good. Um, they're working on improved post processing. They're working on allowing more trees to grow. They're working on adding building pieces like round doors and windows, which is currently absent from the game. They're working on adding potter plants. They're working on adding new building materials, which is awesome. Right now in Enshadow, we have a good amount of building materials, and the more the better. Uh, I'll never complain about them adding more building tiles and stuff like that. Um, they're working on being able to make world quests replayable, and this, again, goes um, to those who play on shared servers or public servers, where in individual progression is not based on the server itself, but it's based on an individual person playing or each individual player, which is always good. They're working on better um, quest sorting. Uh, if you go to your quest log, being able to uh, filter through stuff will be a boon. Um, they're working on server gameplay settings. Uh, more settings for the server will, is also good. Basically, you can fine tune server the way you like to have the environment on the wall set up. Um, they're also working on server user rights. Now, one of the big things for me here is that as good as base building currently is and enshrouded, bases are mostly empty or feel lifeless because, um, or even the wall too feels kind of lifeless since there are barely any other humans other than the enemies you fight with. And so they're working on adding townsfolk NPCs, which is good. They're also working on a vanity system. I'm assuming they're referring to like a skin type system or a transmog type system, which is good. Um, they're working on adding editable signs, um, which is good also. Um, 
one of the things that I think this is pertaining to is that if you have boxes, you're able to edit to be able to label those boxes and stuff like that. I'm also assuming that they're also talking about having like actual signs in the game, like billboards, banners, stuff like that, you know. Now, um, they're also looking at adding musical instruments, which would be perfect for this setting. Um, so you can um, basically role play as a bard, which is always welcome. They're um, also planning on um, adding townsfolk pets, like cows, you know, stuff like that. Basically, just livestock type stuff, cows, horses, that's always a plus. They're also looking into adding the ability to farm with animals, animal farming, so you can you can have cows with plows, you know, stuff like that. They're also looking to add enemy patrols. Uh, basically, essentially it goes back to what I was saying again, that as awesome as the game is, the world kind of feels lifeless right now. So this will add to that. Adding townsfolk, adding NPC, um, enemy NPC patrols, that will make it more lively. Now, or more lived in, basically. They're also adding a weather system. Finally, this is good. Um, they're adding mountains biome, which is good. They're adding portals to other servers. They're adding nameable bases, which is one of the things that they have on their roadmap. And they're also adding the ability to um, name map locations. So, like, if you set a pin, you can um, add a name to it or a tag to it. Um, they also add the multiplayer pings, especially if you're playing with friends. Um, that way you can ping and they can tell, okay, this is your location, all that kind of stuff. This is where you want to go. It helps with gameplay, multiplayer gameplay. They add in named tombstones, which is good. They are also adding new enemies and bosses. Excellent. Now, one of my most memorable enemy encounters in the game is the uh, Waver Wavering. At, I can't remember the location exactly right now off the top of my head, but it's the Wavering that um, everyone has made videos of. I've made videos of it too. And so if they're able to add more bosses or a variety of bosses, that would be excellent too. Now, they're also adding other fixes and polishing to the game in regards to just making the game a lot more wholesome, complete, you know polished, less buggy, that, that kind of stuff. Now, apart from that, they also um, stated at the phone that here's a glimpse at some other major features coming later this year in our early access. They're adding the ability to share um, for sharing and visiting bases, which is awesome. They're also adding the, um, the ability to create and share gameplay experiences, which is good. They're adding world events. This is this is awesome i do not know how they're going to implement world events it may be to be on a timer may to be on specific triggers who knows but world events is always welcome uh, like i said again all these things will help make the game feel a lot more alive lived in you know like a breathing livable believable world you know now one of the other things they are also adding here is instance dungeons this this is going to be amazing if they do that they add more biomes and finally which people have noticed is currently absent in the game they're also adding water so that that's it though in regards to the early access roadmap for 2024 for enshrouded that the devs released and they ended this by saying enshrouded is getting bigger and better and it's all thanks to you from the bottom of my hearts Thank you for taking part in our early access. And they ended up with the Keen, um, Keen logo there. And that's it, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think in the um, comment sections. Um, in the comment section in regards to this roadmap. Um, if there's anything you want them to add, I, it's not listed yet. Go ahead and um, put it in the comments. Let, let us know what it is. But so far, I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty satisfied with what they have for the early access roadmap for this year. And all I can say is um, we have good days ahead of us um, and try to players. And so with that, Roby out. Peace. Happy gaming, everyone.